नमस्कार एंड यू वॉचिंग लैपटॉप यू बैक अगेन एक बार फिर से आपका स्वागत है द मोर यू टॉक अबाउट इट मोर कन्फ्यूजिंग इट गेट्स सो रादर देन गेटिंग इन टू निटिग्रिटीज एंड न्यू ऑनसेज ऑफ फर्नीचर मैनुफैक्चरिंग लाइक वॉट कैन ऑफ फॉर्मिंग एंड स्पॉन्जिंग दो वी हैव बीन डिलीवरिंग दिस इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक यू टू अ स्टोर दैट इज ट्रस्टेड सो वी हैव कम टू आर्स एंड वुड फर्नीचर दे आर मोर देन फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड कंपनी वी विल टॉक टू दी टॉक टू द वन ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द कंपनी मिस्टर आशीष मित्तल एंड वी हैव डन मल्टीपल वीडियोज विद दैम Whenever you buy a furniture unit I understand you spend a lot of time your hard earned money you travel from home from one store to another store you you look for somebody who can understand or who can help you to understand the customization process so this is the place I am talking about as i said they have delivered delivered successfully in more than 54 countries pan i mean outside india and of course pan india service is also available in this video we will understand some of those nuances we never touched before because that's the kind of promise they make and they deliver it that's called the brand let's begin with a small introduction Hello, right now namaskar sir namaskar welcome back thank you the whole uh, furniture manufacturing industry in india it's changing phase <laughs> yes okay definitely all right so you have you have contributed quite a lot in this we are trying our hard level <laughs> okay whatever we can do right we have done lot of videos with you but we never got this opportunity to expose every single detail of it we'll talk about everything definitely so we'll start with the name of the company arsen wood is not unknown to anyone now everybody knows for more than 40 years you have been into yes. this trade okay what is your specialization basically is a hand carving tech that okay. we are doing all right and all the items you are looking at mm -hmm. is a hand carved okay and uh, there is minimal machine work like the cutting and the sawing uh -huh. these things but hand carving is the art we are promoting all right and uh, hand carved but wood 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 solid right. wood teak wood okay and this is the one term that people are generally confused about because uh, there are experiences all of us we have experienced that wood reacts very differently in a different atmosphere yes. then we'll talk about the design we'll talk about the dispatch we'll talk about other parts but wood is a very very confusing term so how do you define a good wood good wood is basically that last longer So, all right so basically it's termite mm. that eats the wood mm. or finishes the wood okay and teak wood is one wood that is termite resistant by nature it has got oils that uh, makes it uh, termite proof okay so that's why we consider it a good wood mm -hmm. the other part about our work is it's very very for, uh, good for carving purpose okay so all the carving you're looking at right is done in teak wood and it's not not very hard mm. and not too soft okay if the wood is too soft then it's very difficult to to uh, do the carving work right because when you chisel it it'll break the entire thing all right this is very hard then hand work is quite difficult okay so machine thing can be done but hand work is difficult all right so it's a good wood long lasting and uh, teak wood is, has got its own uh, texture right. and design so it looks good but they say that the uh, teak wood but uh, teak wood also itself you talk about this only focusing very minusculously at teak wood teak wood also comes in different grades yes the cp teak and uh, nagpur teak wood how do we distinguish it so basic there, there is no grade in okay. itself a lot of people talk about grades first grade a grade b grade mm -hmm. but the, the basic is the region from okay. where the wood is procured all right so if you talk about nagpur or cp teak mm -hmm. one the same thing okay and if you talk assam teak or hana mm -hmm. teak right. then we have burma teak okay. that is considered to be the best wood but it's right. rare now because burma has sold everything yeah. out right so quality of wood is better mm. and then grains are better mm. in the costlier woods but again the prices are mm. too much so sometimes right. it, it gets difficult to get uh, burma teak and make it in uh, economy all right so what is where, where do we procure our wood from ghana wood okay ghana or ivory coast you may call it all, all right. one and the same thing okay now second question that people generally ask me that wood reacts very differently coastal region of india they have different atmosphere mm -hmm. humidity level is different yes temperature level is very yes. different in north india where the you know everything is extreme hmm. too cold or too hot yes so this contraction and suspension in wood yes so how does our wood react to it wood any any wood if seasoned properly hmm. can work very fine okay so what we do is we do double seasoning all right first we do the seasoning of the raw part okay the planks only and then we do the seasoning of the final item all right so the item when it's completely seasoned mm -hmm. it becomes sturdy Okay. It becomes uh, non-resistant to the, the environment and the climate mm -hmm. and the heat and cold. Okay. And then it's the paint part. Mm -hmm. So if you have good material in the base, like the mm -hmm. epoxy and the base the sealers, they are good, good quality. Then definitely it'll last longer. All right. Now we'll talk about the design part of it. Of course, some of the designs, I mean, they have a very local flavor of a country, yes. of a nation. Most yes. of the design, design ideas, they are very European. Hmm. 
right? And uh, uh, they're very popular in uh, Arabic countries as well. Yes. Some of them are very deep, some of them are very shallow. So, mm. what is the call? I mean, how do we decide the design? We don't decide anything. Okay. For example, it's the client mm. who is deciding the design. All oh, right. And uh, at the moment, at the moment, there is no. Uh, at the moment, there is no restriction on designs. So okay. Conventional were the polished colors, like mm. the natural shades mm. and the darker shades, like mahogany and uh, walnut colors. Right. Then we moved on to the paint colors. So okay. paint were, were white, off white, mm -hmm. with highlighting, and then gold and silver. Okay. But these days there are multiple shades, triple shade and flowery shades, mm -hmm. pink and green and yellow. These colors are are quite popular. Right. So whichever color goes with the theme, mm -hmm. and making bespoke furniture means what client likes, we make that. Nylon, nylon belts mm -hmm. and these are so strong that uh, I can okay. jump on this. Okay. <laughs> Generally, we don't have a tendency to do it, but for a lot of people, those uh. in doubt. So, there are mechanical ways of testing this. They put a lot of pressure yes. and then they test it, right? Okay, that we have to introduce to a country. And that we can do, okay. but basic, very, very standard procedure. Right. Let the kids jump on the sofa <laughs> and if it breaks, it's not okay. uh, that good. All Simple right. enough. And then after the foam, after that the foaming part as I mentioned. Uh -huh. So we use the complete PU foam. All right. And uh, PU foam, the entire sheets. We okay. don't use the, the cuttings and the, uh, the scrap. The and scrap. We don't okay. use that. We use complete foam. Uh, okay, and large that part gives of the it. strength also and it's hmm. long lasting. Okay. Fabrics, we have a huge range. Okay. So if the client likes something from our range, mm -hmm. we provide that. Okay. But if the client is very particular about a particular brand or mm -hmm. he wants something that mm -hmm. I want this type of design and that right. is not available with us, okay. then we procure it either mm -hmm. from that store okay. or the client send it to us okay. and then we use that. All right. That's how it is. Yes. And these kind of patches, they are being imported from different parts of the world. Yeah? These are not Indian. Like this, this it patch? It could be imported. Okay. I think uh, this is provided by the client himself. Okay. So, I don't know where he got it from. Mm -hmm. He likes something, he provided it, we use that. All right. Now, the most important part, people generally get confused about the scale part of it. I have noticed one thing that your carving units are a little larger than the normal part. One layers of packing is done uh -huh. to make it very sturdy and easily transportable. Okay. And then we have international packing also. That's a different division. Oh, okay. So without these uh, straws, uh -huh. we make it uh, international level packing. Okay. Right time to check out some products now. I think we are all set. Rajji, we are ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's a request to all the viewers: just fasten your seat belts because we are going to take off now. And uh, the way you have created space, they should create large space in their hearts as well. Because units are going to be very large. Visually they look large, but they are not as large as they look like, right? Anybody can accommodate? This one is large. This, this one is this large. one is quite large. <laughs> okay, done. And uh, this is, the whole concept is for drawing room? I think so. So, uh, in fact, a palace is getting created. Okay. And uh, we have done a lot of furniture, around nine bedrooms for this palace. Okay. Uh, the last time you were here, you, you captured some uh, uh, sofa sets and I remember, beds. I remember. They were pretty huge. Yes. And people were asking me, would you like to own this? I said, are you giving me for this? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to own them. So huge and massive. Sorry. Right? And similar concept is with this set also. Okay. And uh, this is a very different thing. We haven't okay. seen this earlier ourselves. Right. The first time the picture came through, we were all uh -huh. surprised what, what exactly is it. Uh -huh. and, Must uh, have been a challenge to make this, right? Wasn't it? Challenges are always there. So when you are making something new, okay. there is always a challenge. Alright. Especially this have, curvaceous part. This is, is a curve. Uh, yes. This curve is a in itself was very tricky okay because we have to get the strength also mm -hmm. and this is hanging imagine oh yeah i didn't notice this i mean if, imagine there's a child or there's somebody who puts weight on this and it cracks it will not okay it's, it's, it's made like that all right unless a, 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 a big man uh, mm. pulls it uh, unless you deliberately make deliberately. an attempt to break it okay let's not jeopardize that it's such a beautiful <laughs> concept we'll talk about the oh. units first yes how the whole setup is happening like how is he going to place it so what is the I, I don't have much idea because it's a palace uh -huh. and uh, the client hasn't given much details so okay. how they want it. But he has decided something, he has given the dimensions, he has given the designs and we have created that. You have created an U shape. So there are like U, like this it goes. Yes. Right? Okay. This is one. Second, every single sofa has got two end tables, side tables. Yes. Right? Or lamp tables, whatever we call and this. Even the side tables, if you see, they are mm. so beautifully created. Mm. 
Very wow. nice. These are like braids, flower braids. We call them as the, like proper typical gar garlands. Sometimes we feel so fortunate to have these kind of artisans. Exactly. And they are so down to earth people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even they have so so amazing talent. Exactly. Very skilled. Right? Really skilled people. Sir. Yeah. Very nice. This come out very well. But I think uh, this one thing that disturbs me that somehow. Uh, after having seen the international market, I mean, it disturbs me that we have not reached to the level where we deserve to be. What do you think? Really, sir, uh, you have uh, touched the chord here. Uh -huh. And uh, this is what I have been feeling for a long time. Okay. And this thing needs appreciation. This thing needs promotion, visibility. Right. And people need more work. This, this, ta this talent has to go out okay. across the globe. And the amazing part is Indian talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we need people who can help us out and uh, take us forward. Because exactly. we are in a small place and we definitely need hard holding for this. Right. This is the reason we decided to make this video in a language. The English is deliberately chosen because it has a wider perspective across the India. I mean, yes. pan India or of course outside India yes. as well. So a lot of people do not, cannot comprehend with Hindi. And especially I'm trying to attract a lot of non-Indians also. Of course, Indians are always there. But non-Indians also we are trying to incorporate. Mm -hmm. Ultimate result is that the women, those who are working on the rooftop and are Ultimately, they get benefited. Indian mm. art is being promoted. If we talk about the art, it's not uh, it's not bound by the language. Right. Because these days, if we talk about the RR movie, Natu Natu song, the most popular thing. Exactly. Everybody loves that. It doesn't matter if it's in Telugu or Tamil. Right, right. It's, it's good. We love it. Right. Okay. Now, we'll give some detail. Like the wood part, of course, we understand this is teak wood. Yes. And uh, it's curvaceous part. There are joints in this. Yes, definitely. Wood cannot be so so big. So, right. joints are there, but they are very uh, finely done. Mm -hmm. So, nothing really happens to the unit for years. Okay. A mahogany is a color. Mahogany. With the, uh, yeah. Right? With gold. the accent of blue, uh, gold? Yes. Okay. You can choose any color of your any choice. Color, any color. And the uh, end tables are also there. Yes. They are in coordination with each other in terms of design? Yes. Okay. As the client wanted. Okay. And again, this is a double carved set. So, the hmm. carving you see on the front is on the back as well. It will cost bomb. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. See, this is called the back carving. Otherwise, what people tendency they have it or their people have the habit of actually not making this uh, double carving. They make it single carving. Double carving is good when you are placing it in the middle of the room. When it's okay. visible from the back. Definitely, just like this one is going to the wall. Mm -hmm. so double carving is not good enough. All right. If you do it, this is a waste of money also. Okay. But if you're putting it right in the middle, it's you need to have it. Yes. Right. And to match with this, you need to have, um, see, these are the large size units. That's yes. the reason every sofa, ideally every sofa, aesthetically, if you see, every sofa should have one end table or side table. Yes. Because you every time cannot come back to the center table and use it. It's not practical. Yes. The, the person sitting that corner or that corner cannot reach here. Right. So end tables are really good for that. Okay. And generally people, those who use these kind of uh, furniture units, they have a lot of, uh, home, you know, domestic help also yes. to help them. To serve them in yes. case if something is being served. But still we have given as a filler, as a center table, as a filler. This is how the client wanted. Okay. So he wanted to be created. All right. Beautifully done. We'll talk about the price part also. Not for this one, sir. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is a very amazing item. Amazing I'm saying, but this is very different from uh, what okay. we are making. All right. So regular thing we can always quote for. Okay. This is not regular. All right. Moving on to the next one now. Yes. Coming back to something that will... Uh, of course, that's for the for the different crowd altogether, yes. different person altogether. Moving on to the next one, let's sure. check out sure, sure. what will we see. Some sofas. We have a range of sofas, okay. and I'll show you different colors, mm. different themes, setups, and gold leafing and everything. I'll I'll show you all the designs we have at the moment. Okay, this one has got a little bit of the traditional touch. Yes, the classical touch. Of course, all classical units are there, but this one has got more classical touch. This is a natural polish. Okay. So, as I mentioned uh, earlier, we have polishes. Mm. The polish may, uh, may be natural color, the darker color, walnut color, mahogany color. Right. These are polished shades. Mm -hmm. And then we move on to the paint colors, automotive paints. Mm. Then there could be any color. Okay. Like the champagne, Done. a triple shade, dual shade. So, you mean in this color, mm -hmm. no kind of stainer, no kind of adulteration is done in terms of colors? Little stain is used always. Mm -hmm. They're not completely out of stain because there is a variation in the wood also. There's okay. a color variation. All right. So, too much variation t doesn't look very nice sometimes. Okay. So, little uh, matching we have to do. All right. But that's very, very, very less. Okay. Done. Uh, sir, I just want to ask you one thing. When Whenever there's a little space and mm -hmm. I have seen people doing it with their 
you know finger they use mm-hmm. finger right. there is no mechanical process to actually file this particular part if it is very edgy and rough mm-hmm. you mechanically can't do it so they have to do it literally every single piece yes. with their own hand they have made their uh, tools uh, these uh, sticks okay and, uh, Uh, wind it with the with the with this uh, sandpaper and they insert it into it okay but it's a very lengthy process and then laborious work okay i remember that one we were talking about it took you a, how many years it took you one and a half year to complete the entire set yes uh, not uh, in terms of work because okay. uh, it was uh, for a later stage all right but yes almost a year it was right. here all right and for these kind of units how long does it take 15 20 days maximum 15, 20 these days. are regular units so we because you have your own chambering yes. you have your own people yes, working yes. with you okay this has got a set of a three seater two seater single seater and lounger this has got a lounge yes and it's a customized unit again a smaller size as a okay. client wanted mm mm-hmm. so everything is customized furniture all right this is for the particular space designed yes. for somebody yes, yes yes everything that we got to see here is designed for someone yes okay. everything that you see here is already on order okay that's not our our stuff this client right. stuff okay done moving on to the next one now the same design yes as i uh, i mentioned earlier this one is our most popular design because okay. this is a uh, well crafted very heavy looking mm. and quite in budget also okay and uh, the same we have in multiple colors so this one again you mean the design is same the same design i think it's very it's mm. an amazing comparative analysis if you see the mo- the moment you change the polish color your fabric color your unit is entirely changed it's totally changed yeah very different same design hmm. and this is a natural finish this is in triple shade okay and the looks of it you can see how it changes the the visuals okay and this has got uh, walnut brown you said this is dual shade triple dual shade, shade in fact okay. it's got three colors it uh-huh. got uh, antique gold also mm-hmm. and then darker shades on the sides and uh, the color in the middle all right done and chest feel is same fabric of the baje same jacquard and suede is yes. used here this has got three seater again and two seater okay where is the, we don't have a lounger in this no all right chale we'll go to check out next one i'll show you the the shades of the same sofa uh, mm-hmm. two more shades okay and uh, the most popular of ours mm-hmm. is antique gold as i mentioned mm-hmm. and uh, here is the, the most popular one i'll okay. show you we'll continue the same design but this has got a little uh, This is heavier than that in terms yes, of. Yes, this is a double carving one. Double carving. Okay, that one was single carving. That's single carving. Okay, same design. Same design. This is an antique gold. Uh huh. And again, customized as I mentioned. Every okay. Every unit is customized, and we do have a sofa come bed for this uh, unit also. All right. Sofa there was a very personalized uh, requirement yes. of somebody. Okay. Can I see the sofa come bed, please? Yes. Uh, this is a sofa at the moment. Uh huh. And this is an area. Okay. And the cushion goes right here. Mm-hmm. All right. Of course, fabric can be of your choice. You can choose suede and other stuff you want to. But we have used leather right here. Yes, leather right. As okay. per the client's requirement, and this is sofa come bed now. All right. Can we push it? Let me, let me yes, see. Yes. Is it easy to push in? Really easy. It, it takes you thirty seconds to actually make this. Hardly a minute's work to complete it. And you're and done. You're done. Okay, done. You can keep your beautiful cushions. All right. So there you go. Done. Very nice and very elegant and classy. Generally, leatherite is the customer's preference, or yes. we decided to make this. Fabric is always customer preference. Mm-hmm. Whichever color, shade, design they like. Okay. We try and provide in that uh, particular tone. Right. This is the same design that we shot just yes. now. This is in gold. Antique gold. Antique gold with little bit of black is there. Antique gold. Okay. Because the uh, antique makes it a little blackish, so All the right. carvings are highlighted. Okay, done. So this is called antique gold. Yes. That one is called as pure this gold. This is again uh, the same design. Uh huh. And this is in gold leafing. <laughs> okay. All right. See, this is the differences because um, the emboss work is, with the help of black is not done in this. This is looking very flat. This yes, one is looking this, very embossed. This is the difference between antique gold and mm. the regular paints, plain paints or gold leafing. Mm. In antique, every carving, every cut is highlighted. Okay. And when you look from a little distance, it looks very beautiful. Okay. And this is gold leafing, and gold leafing is the costliest uh, form of paints. Gold leafing works, yes. doesn't? Okay. I remember last time we shot, and there were a couple of people working with the yes. gold leafing done. Yes. I'll tell you something about gold leafing work and kind of cheat is happening. We'll talk about this. I'm sure it'll come as a news for you as well. But we'll talk about the gold leafing part first. Is it more expensive than the paint? Yes. Okay. Because uh, it is the extra work that we do. All right. The complete paint is done, mm-hmm. and then the gold leafing is done. Okay. Done. And there are some crack effects also there. It, in gold leafing, it happens. It okay. cannot be really smooth. 
Yeah, it has to be that way. It's deliberately made that way. It it really happens like that, sir. Mm -hmm. Just like in, on the top, if you see here mm -hmm. on the table, mm -hmm. the gold leaf is our pieces. Okay. So we cannot uh, do it really plain, just like right. the paint. So this will be there. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I think there's a beauty. That's uh, that's a beauty of it. People create these kind of uh, very unsmooth and uneven touch to it. So I was telling you that um, I have noticed in one of the videos in China. In fact, in one of the stores in Turkey also, I noticed. Like we use kind of proper foiling system, mm -hmm. and they have introduced a synthetic plastic sheet. Yes. yes. Okay. I've so what the they video. do? You have seen that? Yeah, I've seen the video. They paste it and pull it out. Just paste pull it, it out. It it's out. a pure plastic. Yes. Pure synthetic. It pure cannot synthetic. be as good as this. Okay. So moving on to the next one now. We'll check out a few more. Definitely. And okay. Now we have this set. Mm. This is a champagne gold. Mm. We also call it uh, gold rush. Mm. And it's in huge demand these days. It's a very subtle kind of color. Okay. And everything is beautifully highlighted. Mm -hmm. So you see every cut, every carving is so beautifully coming out. Right. Champagne and brown. Cham uh, uh, champagne and um, brownish. Mm -hmm. uh, the color we call it is gold rush. Gold rush. Yes. Okay. And uh, what is this fabric we have used here? This is no, self no, no, pattern. No. Uh -huh. So I think this is also provided by the client himself. Okay. Must be expensive because it looks like cut work. Yes. All right. This has got three seater lounger and two single seater. Yes. Where is it going? Which part of the country? I don't remember that. All oh, right. There's so much stuff, so many orders across the globe. Sometimes I don't know. <laughs> I know. Anybody can forget that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Yes. Uh, from this, I'll move on to the very classical theme. Mm. And uh, here you look at it. Mm. This is going to US. This is going to US. Yes. And uh, very classical designs with the heavy carving. Mm -hmm. And anywhere, anywhere you see this design. It's a trademark of our, our city. Okay. So this is the, the classical design. Uh, Marvel, traditional design yes. of Saranpur. Yes. And the okay. carving part, you see very fine carving everywhere. All right. First time I saw this uh, visually, I mean on screen, I saw in the movies first. I've seen previous movies of Manoj Kumar and Sadhana. Mm -hmm. I've seen those okay. those kind of movies, uh -huh. Vaidar Rahman movies. Yes, okay. And then I remember I joined film industry in um, 2001. And I remember I was shooting for a film and it was on the set. It was mm -hmm. a film set. Okay. And they wanted to create a very royal, patronized mm -hmm. and very regime oriented, okay. very kingly kind of mm -hmm. a place. And my director specifically asked for this particular unit. And it was available on rent. Okay. Of course, it was very uh, badly uh, mishandled. <laughs> okay. It happens with the film industry. Right. Okay. But that took all my eyes on. I still mm -hmm. remember it was very beautiful, but of course in the darker tone. So, I personally advise don't go for a very dark tone in this, otherwise your carving will be lost in it. What do you think? That's true, sir. Very dark colors, the, the carving is not that visible. Right. Sir, how do they make this? Because this is more like, it's, it has got a lot of uh, intricate carving through and through. Also, this is curvaceous. So, yes. how do we make it? So, that's the artist's job. Mm -hmm. That is the kind of artisan we have. Mm. So, they know how to do it and they do it always with same panache. Right. So there must be a couple of joints, of course. It can't be one single log. That joints is natural. Be there. Without right. joints, we cannot make it. The tree right. is not that wide. Right. Very nice. Very beautifully done. It's more like it's more like uh, Kashmiri art. Kind of. Mm. They call it Kashmiri art, but mm. basically this is our art. All right. Done. And I have experienced this. This is not at all uncomfortable. Very smooth. It doesn't prick you if you are sitting on this. It doesn't disturb at all. Another advantage of this one is mm. uh, this has got more wood and less cushion. Okay. So, in countries like uh, outside India, mm -hmm. where the cushioning part is very difficult, because in these kind of sofas, if you see our, mm -hmm. red, our normal sofas, cushioning is done by the specialist guys. Okay. In this, there is no speciality okay. for the cushion. It's like you see it. So, this is a separate part. Okay. And uh, a new cushion can be easily placed over it. Oh, that helps to make uh, to give a new uh, makeover to it. Yes, a few years down the line, if the cushion is, is bad, the, mm -hmm. the fabric is, has gone bad, mm -hmm. it can be easily replaced. Okay. So that's why it's one of the major advantages of this one. Okay. All you need to do is just this. There are some uh, people they will definitely ask for it. It's a little difficult to maintain when it comes to dust, especially in a country like India. So because dust particles will settle inside the carving. So what kind of tip would you like to share with our viewers to clean it? So uh, normal dusting. That uh -huh. is the only thing required because okay. these all are PU coated. So all right. dust doesn't stick. Okay. So if we have a dust, we will take a cloth and dust it. That's enough or a vacuum cleaner or no, more. vacuum cleaner. That's, okay. that's more than enough. All right. Dust doesn't stick to it. Okay. And why they are always, uh, Ajah, there are two seaters also. I was just wondering because a lounger, that's the reason one mound is there. Yes. Otherwise, you will have, you kind will have of two camel seaters. Camelback. Huh? Camelback. Okay. Uh -huh. These are the same colors? 
same color. Yes. This is looking a little darker and this is looking a little lighter because of the light effect? Could be the light effect. Okay. It's the same set. Okay. So this can be made like this in three seater as well? Yes. Okay. It's a client requirement. They asked for a two seater. We created that. Mm -hmm. So three seaters, any size they want. Okay. And then the chair is again. And three this seater. also is in double carving. Okay. Very heavy. So material. back is also carved. And how long does it take to make this one? Ah, this one takes time, one, one and a half month because okay. it has got a lot of work. And it again depends how many people are working yes. on this. Must be multiple people working A lot on of this. people work on the same set. Okay, done. Any cost ideas, if you can tell me, the range of? Uh, this one is around 18,000 per seat for this one. 18,000 only? 18,000. It's yes. so much of hard work. Yes. Okay. And all the prices I'm giving are X factory. Okay. Again, the tax, uh, shipping, and all those parts are extra. Are very smooth and comfortable. Yes. Uh, very nice. Very well done. We'll check out the next one. Sure. This one again, one more design. Achha. Uh Designs we have unlimited these days because every time we are getting a new design. Mm -hmm. And this one is also a, a popular design. Ji. So client asked for and we created it. Okay. Now what makes it different is the crown size. Crown is I little. I think the crown yeah. is a, a too high in this one. Right. That's I think they, they wanted, right? Yes, what they selected. Okay. Out of the I guess uh, every space has a different goal. Every mm. client has a different goal altogether. Every carving has its own definition. So in this carving, when you have, you know, heighted crown, your mm. actually head is uh, covered. A. Secondly, your, uh, you know, contour support is large. So you get more comfort level. What do you think? So for comfort, there's no issue in any of the sets. Okay. Because we have changed a lot of things to mm -hmm. make it comfortable. And uh, basically, it's the design part, how the okay. client liked it. Uh -huh. Two high sets, uh, if you talk about, sometimes uh, doesn't give the back view. Okay. So, if you're looking from this side and you're looking at the side, the back view is not that visible sometimes. Okay. So, that again is client's uh, choice. If Personal they have preference. some window or some designer, uh, at the, or designer unit at the back, so probably they'll not go for that high unit. Okay. That's the reason. That's... Okay, and some of the designs, they are perfectly suitable for three-seater, two-seater. Sometimes they don't look good with single-seater. Yes, a lot happens. of people experiment. Yes. And they become, the whole club sandwich becomes like a small burger. <laughs> right. So, I mean, it's a very lame example. I know it it's a little, uh, a very kiddish, but you know what I'm trying to say. It happens, this. sir. When we are customizing something, sometimes we don't know what the actual output would be. Right. So, it, it happens. Okay, so selection of carving for a single seater is taken into in consideration on the basis of designs. You cannot minimize, you can squeeze them. Basically, what we uh, try to uh, match is the middle crown. Okay. So, if we are matching the middle crown and the wings part, mm -hmm. the design is mostly matched. Right. The legs remains the same. Okay. So, the design is captured. Okay, done. And this is uh, fabric, is? Suede. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's a lighter shade okay. as the client wanted. So it is a nice fabric. All right. One interesting tip, I think uh, we'll take Ashish Ji's feedback on this. In case you want carving furniture and you do not want it to look very heavy, right, in your eyes and uh, to your eyes. And if you think uh, you want to keep it very subtle and sober, yet you want carving, then you should choose uniform color fabric. Maybe the plain one, the one you have done in this. Yeah, it happens. Rather like than going it. for two different fabric. Two different fabric will make it a little busy. It'll look a little more grand. More? More grand kind of. Okay. When you have dual shade and, and the, uh, the designs, the patterns and damask designs, okay. they make it look more uh, grand. Alright. So, people, those who like to have it very subtle and sober, I think they should go for the single fabric. Single like colors and lighter colors. Lighter colors. Okay. Okay. I, there's one more change when it comes to color. You remember this when uh, traditionally carving furniture used to be with a lot of uh, maroon, Lot of cherry color fabric mm -hmm. is going actually out of trend now. Yes, because they, uh, I, I don't know, but the, yes, it's happening. Okay. Only in the Maharaja chairs, Guruji chairs, uh -huh. we are using the maroon and the reds. Okay. The rest, uh, they're quite uh, low in demand. All right. Because they look more like banco chairs. Yes. That's the reason. That's, that's the, one, I of think the reasons, one of the yes. biggest reasons. Okay. And I'll insist if you can tell me the price of this one particular unit. Any this, idea? This yeah. one and uh, that one is the, almost the same price. Okay. So around 18,000 rupees, 18, rupees per seat. 18,000 rupees per seat. Our range, if you talk about, hmm. we have around 15,000, 14,000 per seat is a starting range. Starting range. And then we have to 40, 45,000 per seat that we have created recently. All right. And something like that, that you have seen at the back, that's quite different. Okay. So they are, they are costlier. And uh, you said that you are introducing uh, latex also. 
Your seats we are, also we are planning. Let's see how it, uh, how it works out. Okay, but that's going to be a little on the higher side in terms yes, of costing. Yes, will be a little costly. Okay, because one single latex uh, seat in itself is around three three and a half thousand rupees, right? Yes. Okay. But we have to see the the output also. Oh, because right. Because that's not um, much used these days in uh, in the sofas. Okay. They're mostly for the for the mattresses. Right. So how it works in the sofas, we have to see. Okay, that's the kind of experiment we yes. have to do. Done. So besides these sofas, and uh, and uh, we have got other things also. What all we make just because we want to wrap up now in this we video. We have a huge range. In fact, we are not limited to, to anything. We have mm. sofas, dining, wardrobes, and uh, bedrooms, jewelers. Mm. Jewelers is one interesting item. I'll show you a few designs. Okay. And then we have temples, one of our most important items, because uh, that's where we started the online business. Okay. And we have made almost every design in the book in the temples. Mm -hmm. Almost every design, south, north. And then we have partition screens and uh, the designer uh, elements of the home, decor elements, bar units. So stuff is unlimited. All right. And everything is visible on the website, arsamurus.com. Okay. It's there. All right. So there are two ways of shopping. Either you can log on to the website or else you can share your designs with Ashishis. And uh, your team will actually respond to Definitely. them, right? And the costing will be done on the basis of the kind of look and feel you yes. want to have it, right? That's how it works. Right? Right, sir. Okay. In the next video, we'll check out some beds. Definitely. And beds swings. and swings and uh, I'll show you some interesting items also. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Before we sign out, once again, we remind that uh, all these products are available for not Pan-India delivery, but outside India as Global well. Global delivery, we are the exporters, we're an international globally. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.